We're with associate head coach Adam Pennington. Adam, we're hitting about that halfway point of the, the outdoor season. Uh, you've got um, some sprinters going to LSU and, and everybody else going to, uh, to SFA. What kind of things are you looking for kind of as we kind of enter this midway point of this outdoor season? Uh, consistency. I think uh, what consistency brings uh, some big marks during the end of the year. So right now it's just trying to get through the middle of the year and, and stay healthy and not uh, get injured at the time and, you know, keep running consistent throughout our uh, times and, and moving forward each week and just trying to, you know, get better. And then once we kind of get towards that championship season and we can back off a little bit, we should be able to see a little bit more better performances. Uh, Dustin Scott, he's coming off of two PRs in the 200 and the 400. Uh, leads the conference in the 200, top three in the 400. Um, you know, you, I guess most people don't think of track as just a physical sport where you can go and be a physical runner, but Destin Scott looks like he is a physical runner. How does that help him on the track? He's just so mentally tough. Um, it's, it's hard to tell him he can't. You know, he's he's a guy that just puts his everything into it on an everyday basis, and he does all the small things. You know, um, he, he's changed into a pestarian. He wakes up at 5 a.m. He he's getting it done. He's going to sleep early. He doesn't party. You know, it's just the small things I think that he does that has the, the right you know mindset and goals at the end of the year that he uh, will not give up until he achieves and. You know, if he doesn't achieve, then I know he gives 100% every week. And, you know, you can't really beat a kid like that. And as long as he's mentally strong enough, I'll take care of the rest on the track. And I think we'll be in a good situation. Last year, coming off, he came off a really good indoor, had a good start to outdoor before a groin injury um, hurt him. He said, you know, look, I wasn't eating right. That contributed to it. it what, how did this injury ultimately help him, especially that mental part of this game? Uh, huge, you know, there's a lot of adversity and, and for him to be able to have to sit back and watch everybody else do big things and he doesn't really get that chance and, you know, he didn't get a chance to run over at regionals or, you know, even injured during the conference championship. So I think he had a chip on his shoulder coming back this year and a big point to prove and it um, seems like he's stood up pretty well and, and making a, a name for himself. When you look at his... Um his bid to go to regionals, it feels like in the 200, he's probably already there. I know he wants to, to lower both his 200 and his 400 times, but, but what do you see from him for the rest of the season to try to put him in that regional spot? Um, yeah, he should be in both marks right now. Um, it, it would be, and on top of that, he was, you know, first leg of that relay that qualified that four by one. Um, but no, he's just a kid you can count on any time. I, not something that I truly worry about in those clutch situations and those big time meets. He, he just steps up and gets it done, you know. So put him into a race where there's 48 of the best athletes and, and divided between the country. It's just hard for me to know that 12 guys can go out there and beat him. If they do, they definitely deserve it. Talking about this sprint group as a whole, uh, you're your top 15 in both the 100 and 200. Uh, only one other non-Power 5 school is in, can say that. Um, what, how is the depth of, of this group coming along as the season progresses? It's huge, you know, uh, mainly when you have an injury that, that occurs throughout the season. You just have that backup guy that you can throw in there, and that's not always the, the thing in, in track and field. You know, um, on the men's side, it's usually a little cut thin, so four or five guys, maybe six. Um, you have a relay with us. You know, we have 12 to 14 guys who can hop on that relay, I think, and run. So it's good to have the depth, mainly when you you're, have those injury plague seasons. So, you know, but having the speed that we have surrounded around each other, I just think that the iron sharpens iron, and those guys are getting better off of each other and the competitive practices that we have. And um, it, it's just to be ranked in the top 50 15 in both of those events is just, um, I think, huge for a standpoint to let the guys and girls see where they sit with the rest of the, the country and the Power 5 schools and just let them know, hey, that we can get out there and compete with the biggest schools. Coach Adam Pennington, thank you very much. Thank you.